What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you this dope Fulani braid tutorial that has been trending on Instagram. I can just show you guys. I'm really impressed with my results if I do say so myself. <laughs> anyway, my Fulani braid tutorial is inspired by Kirsty Putra and I modified Kirsty's version slightly just to suit the frame of my face and I used um, Darling One Million Fiber it's Connect Connecalon hair it was 27 Rand a pack I thought that I would use 5 packs so I bought 5 packs and I only used 3 so yay! And the salon normally charges me 500 rand to braid my hair. So I just saved myself 500 rand. So this is just what it looks like. So you guys can get an idea. It's called 1 million braids. Again, I'm not an expert on fiber, but I thought this was really good. Um, at the salon, they normally use expression, but that one didn't have the ombre which I really wanted to do because my hair is colored um, and it's lighter at the ends so this color if you guys want to try it I can just show you what it looks like if you guys want to try it it is called OMB127 cool if you guys do you want to see how I achieve this look? Definitely keep on watching. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see my next video. It's completely free. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment in the section below. And follow me on Instagram because that's where I post everything first. So I wanted to jump straight in and show you guys how I do a cornrow. It's basically the same as doing a three strand plait, but you make sure that the last strand of hair is always grabbing a new piece of hair at the ends and you're just gonna fold the hair over each other. So once there's no more hair to grab, I start by connecting the fiber to my own hair and I do this by connecting two halves of the fiber to two pieces of the braid and continue with a three strand braid. But if you guys missed that, I'll show you again. So now I'm nearing the end of the length of my own hair and to make sure that the braid is completely full straight to the end I'm picking up another piece of fiber and just connecting that. I make sure that the fiber is connected to the one piece of hair that didn't have fiber previously. And just to show you what the back half of my head looked like I didn't do any cornrows, it was normal three strand braids and I started connecting fiber from the root. Um, as you can see I wasn't too fussy about creating straight parts. I'm getting back to the Fulani braid and showing you how I do my cornrow for the last time. I separate my hair into three strands like I'm gonna do with a three strand braid and then making sure that the last piece of hair is always gripping new hair from my scalp. I simply fold each strand under each other and grip more hair from my scalp until there's no more hair to grab. Make sure that the braids look completely natural. I only start including fiber once there's no more hair to grab from my scalp. As you can see, the connecting process is quite simple. All I do is take two of the three strands of my own hair and connect it to the fiber and simply continue the braid.
once all my hair has been braided I seal my ends with hot water and this can be dangerous so just be careful when you're doing this I wasn't concerned about getting water on the top of my head because I cornrowed my natural hair from this point especially the top half but what I did was went over with a face cloth just to ensure that any fiber could have softness and that it looked completely natural <laughs> and then I also just had to wipe those edges gotta get the edges so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. You can drop that in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.